And we begin with the latest on what could be the future of travel across the Midwest, the Hyperloop connecting Cleveland to Pittsburgh and Chicago. Tonight, the masterminds bringing airline speeds to the ground safely gave the public a presentation. And Tiffany Tarpley reports on the idea's feasibility. There is no doubt this animation looks pretty cool. And the idea behind it, futuristic. Creating airplane conditions that usually happen in high altitudes on the ground. A hovering capsule in a tube using green energy to propel travelers to their destination at speeds of up to 700 miles an hour. In Northeast Ohio, um, we are taking a calculated risk. And the future is now, sort of. Hyperloop Transportation Technology and the Northeast Ohio Area Wide Coordinating Agency presented part of the results of a large study to determine if this is even possible here. What they say they found so far is the potential for huge economic impact well into the future. For example, 900,000 new jobs over 25 years with retail and service industry growth. Also, potential routes between Cleveland and Chicago. The fastest at about 31 minutes with a trip through Lake Erie and Lake Michigan. The longest along turnpike and toll roads at 47 minutes. We are inside a controlled environment, so nothing can go in front of it. Nothing can be inside. Uh, it doesn't matter if it rains, uh, so it's, it's much safer. Naturally, with something like this, you wonder how much it's going to cost you, the rider. The specific answer unknown at this point, but those leading the charge locally say it's not meant to be an elite form of transportation. Uh, what I can promise you is that it has been very important for our agency and for our partners at the state level and the federal level to ensure that this is a mode of transportation that is affordable for everybody. And so the full report on this concept taking off in Northeast Ohio comes out in mid-December. That's when we should learn more about potential fares. Once a Hyperloop is built, they want this to be something the private sector operates and maintains, just similar to an airport structure. You know how the government runs an airport and airlines fly those jets, Russ. So the big question, how soon could we see this happen here if it happens here? They tell me six to ten years. Wow, sci-fi stuff, Tiffany. Did you buy your ticket yet? No, I think I'm going to wait like a few years. Let okay. them get the kinks out. You know? <laughs> Probably a good move. Yeah. Thank you.